This is how to upload your computer science coursework for the year of 2021 to 2022. If you're watching this in another year, maybe check the instructions for that year because this could change. Um, but for this fine March afternoon in 2022, this is how you do it. So you, um, you need to basically, the short version is, you put all your files in a folder called Artifact, you put all your, your report, HTML, in your um, report folder along with your video. You select them both, you hit zip archive, and you name it according to this convention, where this is your exam number, and this is the same for everyone else. Okay, so um, this just basically is a code for computer science, I reckon. I'm not really sure, but it, you know, it's a code that's going to be the same, and this is the English version. IV if, it's, if you're doing an Irish, fair play to you if you're. Okay, um, so uh, how, let's just, I'm going to give a dummy project, and I'm going to dummy submit it, if that makes sense, by following this, and uh, let's do it. So I'm going to get my, um, my project here is in Replit. Here's a website, blah, 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 and what I'm going to do is, um, download it. So I get this guy here, I go download a zip, it downloads, it's doing that thing. There's my my project downloaded. The next thing I need to do is do my formula. So I'm gonna get my my form my report. My I get my report here, like this is a template report, and I just go download as and what you're gonna do is web page. And that downloads just like that. Look at that. And then um that should also include the images and that kind of stuff. Um, you can click here and go show in folder and this is kind of my download page right now here, right? So you'll see these are zipped files. These are compressed files. Um, that's what you need to submit. Just bear in mind what a zipped file is. It's basically like if you get all your luggage, you're going on an airplane, you stuff it into a suitcase. Um, you can't use stuff in that suitcase if the zip is closed. So to use anything here, I have to extract it. You know, so I'm going to do that. Actually, I'm going to take this here. And I'm going to extract it to this folder down here. So you can click extract to but I'm just going to drag them out. And sometimes there's a loading bar if your computer is slow as it unpacks itself. But that kind of instantaneously did it there. OK, so there's example report Um So, yeah, that's fine. Now, I think technically that should be index.html. Um, for your report, but just if you've got multiple pages in your report, that could actually break it, you know. So just watch out. Um, so just be careful when you're changing the name. But I'm going to try and, and follow convention. So that one there was report. Report. That was my report folder. In there goes that. And you need your images as well. Okay, so you can go in here now and just see does this work? Um, yeah, works fine. Okay, just check your images and that kind of stuff work. Right, so that's that done. Um, I can uh, get rid of uh, that zipped file there now. Um, I've got one of my two folders ready. I'm gonna need to put my video in there in a second, but I'm just gonna put get the artifacts. So this is my actual, um, my website from Rapolet. Um, again, I'm just going to grab this and extract it. There it is extracted. I can get rid of that archive now, just so I'm not confusing myself. Right, so aside from report here, which I made, everything else is part of my Replit website. So I open this and there it is. And this will work now offline. So if I was on a beach somewhere and this was just on a memory stick, this website and the links and all that kind of stuff should be work. Just be careful about changing the names again outside because you could break your links. So um, now I need to just go a new folder called Artifact Artifact. Hopefully I've spelled that right. If I didn't, well, don't misspell like me. Um, uh, and I put all my stuff in that artifact folder, um, except for the report one, you know. There we go. All right. So now I've got artifact and report, two happy folders there. Um, and what I can do, just be, I, I can compress them into a zip and submit, but of course I have to do my video. So the thing here is you just get it, your MP4 file your video and you can put it in here. If you've got it, if you've been practicing on, on YouTube, you can go into your own video and click download on YouTube. Um, but really, I imagine most people will get their video from Google Drive, they'll record on their iPad or something like that. Just make sure that your um, your video here that you're putting in, in this folder alongside your report, 
I'm just gonna like put an example like let's like just pretend that this is a video like my video dot mp4 yeah yes I'm gonna break it um so it thinks it's a video there but it's just it's actually an empty file um so don't do this this is an example <laughs> put an actual video there um Grand, uh, just make sure that it is an MP4 um, file and not something mad like, um, I mean, there are pretty clear instructions on what to do with the video. Um, yeah, I'm gonna just Google MP4 to see if they've mentioned it, have they? MP4, no, they haven't. I guess it's somewhere else in the instructions, but like, just go video. Um, yeah, there were a few people last year who, who who did weird kind of things with their video. Now, make sure it's five minutes and one gig max. So five minutes max, one gig max. It doesn't have to be five minutes. It doesn't have to be more than one gig, but don't like record it in 8K um, or use a really weird format. Um, I would definitely get your video, give it to somebody on a computer and say, Mommy, please open this up and test my video works. Because a huge problem is where people um, they use like an iPhone or an iPad to record it and it it ends up in some weird highly compressed Apple format that doesn't work on the examiner's like Windows laptop, okay? So you can assume that these are probably just gonna be open on a bog standard PC roll laptop. Um, so yeah, make sure your 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 video is tested. Right. Um so that's pretty much it. Um just before I, I kind of go on and 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 submit this. I just want to read through and make sure this everything else here is clear. So uh, digital blah blah blah. Yeah, make sure it's um, under the word count. If you're over the word count, that's a good problem to have. You can always just chop it down a little bit. Um, yeah, uh, so it's starting from like if I mean, don't worry too much about about that. It just needs to be a, a normal video and nothing crazy. Um, that's just talking about research. Um, saved as a zip file, not a RAR file. Now, how do you save as a zip file? Well, here's how you do that. Um, so let me just kind of zoom in here. Um, these are my two files I've now got, artifact and report. So I select them like this, I right click, and I can zip them, so add to archive. I'm using a program here called WinRAR. WinRAR, um, which you can download for free. There you go, download for free. And you can use for free forever. Somebody apparently has paid for WinRAR, but um, that person is a hero. I mean, maybe it's companies who pay for them. So yeah, look, um, see, RAR is the default time. It can't be that it has to be like, you have to, you know, make sure it's the right format. So um, yeah, zip is what you want, not RAR. Um, press OK and oh yeah, wait a second. I need the correct format here. So I'm just gonna open up where I had it here. It's this, it's 2020 to 2019. Okay, so I'll just put this over here. So, so when I save it as a, a file here, it's gonna be 2022 two one nine dash three dash English version dash and whatever your exam number is. So let's say two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. Um that's it. Press OK. You can see it compressing it there. Uh, it'll take a little while. Um now you'll notice as well you won't be able to um if you just double click on into that archive and start opening it and, and testing it out it some of the things won't work um, and that's because you're inside your own suitcase and trying to put your socks on Get, stop unzip the suitcase that's what you're supposed to do with this archive the examiner when they get it they will unzip the folder there okay um, cool um, just one last thing certainly for this year there was a slight change uh, compared to last year where uh, last year they wanted you to put this in a folder and then it was one step above this zip that folder but this time they just wanted to select button zip i think that's because most people did that regardless of what the instructions were last year so they're just going with the majority um that is pretty much it yeah sh folders uh if you've got any like other 
Any other stuff um, like previous versions or things that may not have made it or supporting evidence, you can always just chuck that in with Artifact. Um, any of your Python files, um, maybe your microbit files, your hex files, anything that would help the examiner give you extra marks if you were borderline, you know? Um, but if you put it in there, just make sure it's, you know, it's not misleading and tripping people up and hiding your actual, your actual files. Um, so yeah, that's that's kind of what that's just saying. Um, uh, you're responsible to make sure the uh, yeah uh, don't put any viruses on it. <laughs> that's probably not going to be great. Um, uh, you will not be submitting your physical embedded system if you try and put your microbit. In, like, how would you even do that? Like, that's I mean, I don't know why this. Maybe, yeah, maybe a reminder <laughs> if you arrive to the school with it, like a, a on post box containing your project and you're like, where do I send this? You're not. Go back home. It, it's, it's electronic. This is just pictures of your project. You don't have to send your project anywhere. You can keep that. Or this, if it's the schools, they can get it back. Um, um, yeah, uh, blah, 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 anonymized. You can't be in your video. Um, Face to face, going. Hi, it's me, Danny. You can't do that. Um, you can have your voice. In fact, it's really nice if your voice is in there because it's easy to describe your project. Um, you just can't uh, say like by Darren or by Rebecca um, and your school. Like it, there should be no information there that could identify you. Um, uh, so you know, just for fairness, so people can't. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't need to explain why that why being anonymous is makes things more fair. Um, but to just say again, voice, fine, but don't get put your face in it. If you as a person are in the video, um, I, it's not the end of the day if like your back is turned to the camera or your, you know, something like that, but just don't make sure, don't like make it really obvious uh, it's you and it's your school. Um, your responsibility all required for us. Yeah, okay, yeah, you lose marks um, if files are omitted. Um, you can't leave a note saying I have this somewhere else. Um, um, backup copy is a, a really good idea to do. Um, yeah, um, that's just saying check it again, unzip it, which we're going to do now in a second to, to do it. Um, and yeah, I was going to say just make sure that your your report is a HTML report, not a Word doc or a link or a to a Google Doc, make sure that any of your videos or uh, that kind of stuff isn't dependent on having an internet connection. Um, so don't expect them to have an internet connection. Now, that may well mean that if you are using a database, your project won't just won't work um, for the examiner. But that's fine because that's the purpose of the video. The purpose of the video was to show that it did work at some stage. Um, but don't as as may or may not have happened so, so just send a link to youtube especially if, you, if the name of your your youtube channel is it's tim's youtube channel oh i wonder whose project this is <laughs> it's tim from tim's youtube um so yeah uh you need to if you have it on youtube download it from youtube and change it to my video and put it in this folder that's pretty much it, I think. Um, we've gone through the instructions, um, but you can always uh, dump a comment or something if you want to, if you have any questions about it. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna make sure this is all done by, I'm just gonna get rid of this, opening this guy here and extracting the two files. And you can see there it's unpacking the kind of suitcase the it's called an archive an archive of files um and there you go uh that's well, why are they doing this they're doing this because if the the person marking your project gets a hard drive um with a hundred different projects on it uh, if they don't compress it those projects won't fit um and it's also easier to keep track of who's is who when it's all in one folder so that's why you have to do this um, so that's grand and I now go in and uh, test my report like this and my report still works great um, and I go in and I check that this still works um, I'm looking for index.html there we go 
perfect. Okay, that is pretty much it. So um, you then uh, presumably submit this zip file uh, via online to your teacher or on a memory stick, and then they will upload it to the SEC um, after they've signed the blue paper and gone through it to check that uh, it's your stuff. Do not leave it, please, till the <laughs> don't leave it to the last minute to submit to your teacher because they've. Um, limited time to to upload it um and if you go right at the last minute and be like the same time as 18 other projects uh it'll take them a while to go through and verify that there's no plagiarism and that kind of stuff like that so um they can't sign off on it till they've done that uh so just make sure that there's time there All right uh that's pretty much it bye